welcome to Cloud Tech Talks. This is Pritesh. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top three administrative benefits of Dropbox business. Let's get started. Number one, new user onboarding. With Dropbox business, it's very easy for the administrator to click a few buttons and allow access to any new user in the company to a variety of files and folders in the organization. Think of this as a really beneficial exercise when someone joins an organization. Imagine the amount of information that you typically want to make available for that individual and the number of people that he needs to talk to in order to have access to it. With Dropbox, everything can be made simple. If you follow a structured way of sharing in terms of files and folders for anyone who is new to the company. Feature number two, deprovisioning a user account. Now, we all know that people come and go and leave the company for many different reasons, but when they leave the company, they typically use their own devices to access the information over a period of time. And as a result, it's very critical for you as an administrator to be able to deprovision and delink all of his access with regards to company specific information. With Dropbox business, with a click of a button, you can transfer all of his information to an active user and also make sure that every device that he used Dropbox business on, if it's owned by the company, you can remote wipe or you can selectively delink only the corporate account from that device. It's very useful with regards to deprovisioning a user and helps you onboard the successor in a very streamlined way. Number three, visibility and control. With the administrative console of Dropbox business, the administrator can create a report which will allow him to access information such as which users did the company employee share the information with within or outside the organization, whether or not they changed any passwords, whether or not they played with the two-factor authentication methods, uh, did they try to log in from any unknown or unauthorized devices, did they use their passwords or uh, use any other apps to log in using their Dropbox credentials? Did they also invite or remove any members from the existing teams and folders that have access to that information? So this is how granular an administrator can go and generate reports with respect to his teams. So these were the top three administrative benefits of Dropbox business. Please let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the video and like, share and subscribe to this channel. Till next time, this is Pritesh signing off from Cloud Tech Talks. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.